Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike Colleen at CrackedFemaleCode.com Okay, so one of the things that we're going to do when we work with you in person, we're going to teach you how to give women space, okay? I'm going to give you a couple examples of actual clients of what happened because it was two completely different experiences and, and it was, you know, black and white contrast, like completely different outcomes. So in the last video, I went in depth on wh what this does to a woman's neurology. It triggers her to, to energetically or, you know, literally even physically fall into your arms. So what most men do is they use what's called male push energy that literally pushes women away. So, so the thing though, this is your natural instinct. Your natural instinct is to chase, to go after. When you do that, it triggers her mating system to go off. Now, on some level, I do believe God or Mother Nature or someone who designed this, if, if I could stretch it that far, it's like they purposely created men and women different so there would be like a challenge so we would have this development phase that we would go through that would keep life interesting and also keep relationships interesting because when you see the answers that i show you in the course it really is an eye-opening experience and it gives you like a lifelong series of patterns and, and things to learn and work on to develop it getting really really good at attracting women to you so the first mistake men make is a hunting mistake. We are wired, okay, so the male brain is the external brain. It's like an arrow. It goes after what it wants. It hunts. When you do this to a female, it, it hurt. the way her mating system is wired is like, oh, he's desperate. If you're desperate, that means you're not a good mate. So here's the deal. My overall thing that I'm, I'm teaching in my course, and especially right now, is men and women are literally wired in the complete opposite way for romance, love, and seduction, and even value. So what you value, she does not. What you think would make, you know, I, I even hate to use this phrase because it's such an egotistical phrase that's completely misunderstood uh, by the dating relationship pickup community is to be a high value mate. So what men think is high value is zero value to the female mating system and vice versa. And with these two stories of two of my clients, I'm going to show this to you. For example, men, we, okay, the male brain is the external brain. All that means is anything outside of your physical body, like your car, money in your hand, gold, diamonds, jewelry, a ring, a watch, clothes, uh, an expensive suit, flowers, roses. So the male brain highly values these things. In fact, the more expensive it is, the more value it is. Well, here's the deal. The female brain, now you have to remember her mating system is connected to her right brain's female brain. This, this means not only is this emotionally, see the right brain is the emotional processor. The left brain is the logical processor. So men think literally that logic is of value. Well, not to her and definitely not to her mating system. Now, when you're, when you're coming from your logical processor, it is literally showing her that you're a lower value male because those are the men that are followers. The logical brain is the external brain, which means it's looking externally for what are the rules, what are the values, what do we believe. So you're looking to someone else to be your leader, which means you are not a leader. The left brain is also what we call in psychology the in-the-box brain because it is the in-the-box brain. It doesn't come up with any new ideas. There's no creativity. There's no new thought. It's just whatever whatever a book tells you, whatever your science teacher tells you, whatever society says, that's logical because the group consensus says, well, this is real and this is what we believe. And yet, how many times has science and physics constantly changed? And, and I mean, I can remember things from the 70s. Only 10 years later, maybe 15, 20 years later, I remember the 90s, like, yeah, they completely reversed on that. Even uh, Tyson, Neil Tyson DeGrasse, or Neil DeGrasse Tyson, however you say that, he has said multiple times on multiple things on, on YouTube, on national television, 
boy, did we get that one wrong. Like, like a, a universal law, completely wrong. All right, so here's what I'm saying. Is when you open up to your right brain, which is what I condition into you in the course, okay? We do day after day, hour after hour, okay? Is you will gain her respect. Not only her respect, but her girlfriend's respect, her mother's respect, your mother's respect. Women will look at you and be like, finally, a man who gets it. So the reason why I use a lot of science and neurology and how we're wired is because the male brain, that's what you're looking for. You think, well, as long as you can prove it to me logically, then I'm willing to listen. So I have to do a lot of scientific stuff for you before we get to the good stuff. Now, here's the other thing. When you're in your left brain, your pupils get small. Like, like little needles, okay? And they come together. Now, what this does, it causes you, it's like you're looking under a microscope or looking down a little, uh, little tube or funnel or something, okay? So you, don't, you can't see 360 degrees around you. You're only seeing what's right in front of you. This is something that makes you look oblivious because you literally are oblivious. You're going into your linear system, which means you're only seeing what's directly in front of you. Now, the male brain, listen closely, is the direct brain. Now, what did I say two sentences ago? It only allows you to see what's directly in front of you. The male language, the male brain is the direct brain. It's the direct language from point A to B. That's how men think. Well, there's a lot more ways than A to B. That's a very, 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 very limited and simplistic way of looking at everything, especially relationships. Now, here's one thing you have to know. The left brain is the math, business, and science brain. The right brain is the relationship brain. It's the brain you're supposed to be in when you're in any kind of relationship situation, especially when you come home after work to be with your wife for dinner and movies, etc. You're not supposed to be in your logical brain. That will turn a woman off. Now, a very rough way of, of saying how to get into your right brain is just relax. You know, there's a bunch of techniques I'll teach you on how to do, et cetera, that can help you to open up faster. But in general, when you relax, it opens you up to your right brain. Now, this is the brain you should be in when you're with your wife, going to dinner, having dinner at home, watching TV together, et cetera. Because otherwise, it makes her feel like mentally she's like burning up a lot of energy. She has to think, she has to work. It's, and women will say, God, it's, it's like a full-time job with that guy. It's like you can never relax around him. That is not a good thing. All right, so the left brain is the logical brain. It's the external brain. This is why men, now listen closely. Who? Men. This is why men value things, money, cars, jewelry, anything you can touch or hold in your hand. This is external stuff, okay? Even flowers, roses, etc., diamond rings, men value this. And what we do is we unconsciously project what we value onto women and it doesn't work. Because she's not wired that way. But here's the really weird thing. As men, because we we totally value money, making more money, going to work, you know, overtime, we think, oh, I'm going to buy her this one thing for Christmas for, for, for her birthday. And the whole time she's missing you. She's like, yeah, I don't see him. He comes home late at night. He works on weekends. and I barely get to see him on Sunday. And you're like, yeah, but when, when I buy her this one thing in six months, like, no, no, all you're doing is destroying your marriage. So... Women are very right brain beings. In fact, they value the right brain much, much more over the left brain, okay? The left brain is kind of like a secondary brain to them. So, again, because her mating system is connected to the right brain, again, okay, so women are born using their right brain. That's their natural brain. They have to work at, at learning the, how to develop the left brain, whereas with men, it's vice versa. You're born using your left brain, etc., now, what amplifies this for her is her mating system is connected to her right brain. So it's all about the right brain. So what is the right brain? Is it cars? Is it jewelry? Is it money? No. It's emotions. The right brain is literally the emotional, creative, spiritual processor. It's the five senses processor. See, hear, feel, smell, and taste. 
when you learn how to tap into this, into your five senses, into the emotional processor, it triggers her mating system. It melts her heart and she literally falls into you. So essentially what you do is you open up. So when you're in your left brain, everything is narrow and it's like a, like an arrow going out, like push energy. When you open up, it's like you're wide open and now you can receive someone and this is what causes her to fall into you. This is what we call internal awareness, okay? This the the phrase being internal means you're opening up to your right brain. Women highly value the internal world because the right brain is the internal brain. So if you want a woman to value you, respect you, honor you, and tell her girlfriends and her aunt, aunties and her grandma and her mom all about you and how like you're this amazing guy, learn how to do this and you're going to be the guy that she talks very positively about. Yes, I highly recommend you start with my book, Crack the Female Code. That's the next step. All right, so I'm going to give you an example of what the training is going to be like, okay? So I'm going to give you two real-life stories. So one was a guy who was a multimillionaire, tall, in perfect shape. I mean, this guy, like, he, he was huge on road biking. The guy would ride 30, 40 miles a day. I mean, the guy was in phenomenal shape, ate perfectly had a nutritionist, you know, went to the gym, just everything, right? He owned his own business. He owned a home that was worth two plus million dollars, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, and he was six foot three or almost six three. I think he was actually six three. If, he, if not, then he was like a quarter inch or half an inch less. So I did bring this up in the last video, but I didn't, I, I just realized I didn't finish it. Okay. And I didn't finish the other story too. <clears throat> so here's what happened. So what happened was we'll call this guy Roger. Okay. So I was teaching him like the number one thing you have to do with women is give them space. Cause if you give them space, they'll actually feel comfortable. And, and once a woman feels comfortable with you, she will step forward. So the general gist is this, okay, it's a real quick, but you also have to learn how to be internal and how to kind of like these two bubble things. It's kind of, this is a similar picture, not perfect, but it really does kind of get, get the idea of your energy needs to expand around you. But first, you need to drop it down inside your awareness, okay, and then expand it. So that's a little bit of a conditioning training thing, but it, but that gives you the gist of where we're going. So the overall overall idea is this: you need to pull your energy back because male energy is push energy. Men push their energy into women's faces, and they they effing hate it. They can't freaking. My ex girlfriend would call it um. Oh, what did she call it? She called it laser beams. Like you guys would laser beam her with your forehead or your or your right eye. Because your left brain is connected to the right side. Thus, it's your right eye that's going to be laser beaming her into her right eye. And what you don't do, or what you don't realize you do unconsciously, you're going from your right eye to her right eye, which forces her to eventually go into her left brain. Don't do that. I'm going to teach you how to reverse all this stuff. So for this video, let's kind of keep keep it short. So the idea is to pull your awareness and your physical body back, okay, to give her space, literally, physical and emotional and energetic space, meaning your, your, your laser beam from your eye, okay? So pull your awareness into your body. Number two, what most guys do when they go up to a bank teller or to a cashier at a grocery store or whatever, or even just talking to a girl, you know, at the park, is they crowd her, they get too close, and then they lean forward. Do not do that. You just showed lower value. This will instantly turn her off. So here's what I t what, what I told these two clients. Okay, this is total like this was like two months separate. Like they never even met each other. So. So look, when we go to a cashier, when we go to, to get coffee or hot chocolate at a, at a coffee shop or bookstore or whatever, do not go right up to the counter. Because most men, and, and you guys don't even know you're doing it, like you do it all the time. Every client I've, I've ever took out without before te teaching them this, they do it. You walk up to the counter, your thighs or your hips go right up against the damn counter or table. And then what you do is you lean forward, you lock on eyeball to eyeball. Do not do that. Instead, number one, take about a half a step back. So stop before the counter, okay, about six inches or so, and then take a half step back. 
give her space. Now, here's the deal. If you pay attention, you will see her almost take like a small deep breath, like, oh, like a relaxing breath. And then it's like she can stand upright. And because so, most women will lean away or they'll cross their arms or they'll, they'll turn their body with crossed arms and leaning away. Those are three red flags saying you're crowding me back the F up. Now, why is this so hard for men to do? Because our mating system is in the same brain as our hunting system. Because our hunting, the, the, our lower reptilian brain is the survival, kill or be killed, survive, get food, you know, get away from dangerous animals and hunters and people that are trying to kill us. So it's kill or be killed. It's fighter. It's the fight or flight brain. So here's what happens: your hunting system is right next to your mating system and they both go through the left external brain so when you see a hot chick that you're attracted to your hunter system gets engaged and this scares the crap out of women my ex-girlfriend used to come home from she used to work at jc penny she was oh i hate it it's like men they're trying to hunt me down and kill me and i thought i i thought she was tr like indirectly trying to say that she's like you know they were looking at her ass and her tits and i mean she was a hot chick look at her ass and tits and like they were salivating over her and, she said, and one day she kept saying i'm like and I, she was really stressed, and and I'm like, wait, are you being serious? She goes, I go, you mean like literally? She goes, yes, it's like they're going to hunt me down, and they're going to kill me, like literally, and eat me. And this is what men don't realize, that creepy look you get on. And here's the thing, you're like, oh, I don't get that creepy look. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, I'll record the next time we go out. I'll record your face every single time. But the thing is, it's it's not necessarily your fault because your mating system is right next to your hunter system and your hunter system gets triggered when you're attracted to someone and you go into hunter mode and your face goes into focus and you laser beam down. It's like you're looking through a, 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 a not a microscope, but a, a scope on a, on a hunter's rifle and woo, and you just lock on laser beam style. Like literally like this V, like your two eyeballs go two lines down to a freaking point and now you're locked on. So what we need to get you to do is, is open your eyes into peripheral vision, expand out and drop your awareness inside. Now that might, okay, how do I do that? Yeah, it's a bit difficult. I have mastered the art of teaching this to the male brain. It takes work, it takes practice, it takes conditioning, but we will get you there. Now, here's the deal. So the one thing I basically said with both these guys, like all I want you to do is stop before the counter or cashier or whatever, and make sure there's a little bit of space between your legs and, the, and, and the, the, either the table or the desk or, or the cashier, you know, whatever, conveyor belt. And then take a half a step back and then pull your head back and your shoulders back about an inch or two. That's it. Don't overdo it. Just take a half step back and allow your head to kind of go upright. Now, I took Roger to the coffee shop first. It was actually a bookstore. It's out of, out of business. It's on its borders. And they had a coffee shop. So he went up, got his ch uh, hot chocolate or no coffee, sorry. And he's leaning forward. His, his legs are all the way up against the counter. Now, mind you, this guy is six foot three. Now, he's in perfect shape. He's a slender dude. He works out all the time. And the girl is leaning away, crossing her arms. And the, the other manager lady behind saw how scared she was. And she comes over and she goes, sir, do you mind? And he's like, no, mind what? And I'm like, oh, my God. Because we just went over this before we went out in public. But the thing about it is, men, it's like we can't... Honestly, guys, I, I understand. We can't help it because, again, our hunter says, like, oh, she's hot. I like her. And you lean forward. Like, <laughs> you, you focus in on that. And when you focus in, that's when you're, you're, you get this crazy... Literally, you literally get this psychopathic crazy look in your eyes. And here's the worst part. And then you, and then you smile. Now, here's the deal. You are in your dissociated logical left brain. And this is very scary. This is literally like a psychopath because you're not connected to your emotions or feelings. And what happens is it's like from the nose up, there's like a line from the, from the nose up, your eyes are laser beam like hunter mode. And then you got this plastered on fake smile beneath your nose and it looks freaking creepy. And most men are like, shit, I didn't even know I was doing that. 
Sorry if I seem harsh on you guys. It's just a lot of you guys will just, no, I don't do that. And it's like, oh my God, guys, every guy does this. Like, none of you guys have heard what I've said on this video before. I guarantee that. And yet, when we go out in public, you're still going to do it. And you're like, shit, Mike, I didn't, like, how do I not do it? It's like, so there's a series of techniques. So let me just finish the story and wrap this up. So this guy literally was completely oblivious. She crossed her arms. She turned away. She leaned away. And her eyes, and there's a fourth red flag. Her eyes popped open like she was in panic attack mode. Like, holy shit. And this guy completely missed all of these red flags. So then we went over to Whole Foods. We get in line. Now I'm gonna complete this story with it with just I'm gonna complete it. So he gets in line and there's a hot chick that he was attracted to and he just leans <laughs> his legs right up against the freaking like cashier, the uh, conveyor belt thing, whatever you call that table, whatever the conveyor belt where you put your groceries on. He his legs are all the way up and he leans over the counter. Now you gotta understand this is a tall dude. This girl was maybe five foot one. And she's leaning away, going on. Ah, her face was like, oh, shit. She's, and she's looking around for help from other women. And as I told you in the last video, some of the women in line had leaned over and looked, gave him this fucking laser beam, like, back off, down. And he, he, like, he completely oblivious to all the women around him trying to say, hey, you're scaring this young girl. Now, here's the deal. Every single one of those women in that store that saw him doing that, boom, the, you just lost any possibility of them ever being romantically attracted to you ever again. Because you just showed very, very, very low value. I call it laser beam obliviousness. But men really think, hmm, I'm focused. Hmm, I'm intelligent. No, no, that, that to her, that means you're stupid. And I'm not joking. Because now in math, business, and science, yeah, that's really good. But when it comes to being out in public, oh, no, you're, that's obliviousness. See, the right brain is all about awareness. Why? So you don't get hit by a car. So a saber-toothed tiger that's a mile away, you know, hunts you down and you don't notice it until it gets two feet from your foot. You know, oh, shit, there's oh, too late now. You're dead. And this is what this is really all about. It all comes down to survival instincts. If you don't have that a uh, that social peripheral expanded awareness which i'll you think oh peripheral i can know that what i'm going to teach you is way more we're going to connect you to your kinesthetics and a couple other systems and then we're going to go out in public and be like holy shit like yeah now you're tuned in and again if you are not tuned see if you're not tuned in that means she has to do it which means now she's disconnected from a romantic mating system now it's a turn off because now she's doing the man's job but if you do it, not only does it relax you, but allows her to relax and become a woman, meaning open up to her right brain system and thus just be natural and comfortable around you. And this is a huge, huge high value attraction. All right, now watch this. So Roger failed. And so he was pissed off and under his breath, he mumbled. Now she heard it too. He was on oh, fuck you know now you understand because roger's a better better looking guy than i am he's taller he's in perfect shape he owns an, a successful business makes more money so in his eyes well you know i'm all this logical left brain external stuff and therefore i should get the cute girls and yet he didn't and it really pissed him off so here's what happened now i'm going to give the other story this is the part i forgot on the last one so here's what happens. So I get in line. Now I'm already, now I had stepped back even away from him while he was doing all this because I didn't want to be associated to that. So he goes to the end and grabs his groceries and he waits for me and he's just all pissy and I'm just, so I gave space, half a foot, half a step back and I leaned back about an inch or two and you could see her face relax because when he was there leaning, her face was tight, her eyes were bulging, she, you know, leaning away. And then she literally went neutral and then she leaned forward. She goes, what's your name? I've never seen you be here before. And I said, oh, my name's so-and-so. And now she's having a conversation where there's six or seven people in line kind of going, come on, let's go. And now he's getting pissed. And here's the deal. Notice how she leaned forward. It's because I wasn't pushing her away. Give women space 
and they will highly value that and they will feel comfortable with you and eventually they'll either lean forward or, the, or they'll reach out and touch you. Okay, so now I had a younger guy. He was probably about 25 or 26 or something. I don't remember how old he was. At the time, I think I was probably 36 or something. And so he was younger. And he was a little bit, he was a really cool person, really nice guy. And excited and happy, very positive. That's the one thing I'd say about this guy. He was very positive. And he was, yeah, I was a little bit nervous because men, when they get hurt or embarrassed, like it can really have like a long effect. So... We went to the coffee shop bookstore borders first and he completely went right right out right out the window right out his ears he just leaned forward did everything wrong and what happened was he got his hot chocolate and he walked out the door and bears going oh my god because she was leaning away crossed her arm you know the whole nine yards and he walked outside and i was kind of worried but i i got my hot chocolate i said hey, you okay man and he goes, he goes, yeah, I'm okay. I'm a little embarrassed, but you know what? And he goes, I, 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 he goes, I can't believe we just went over this. You told me don't lean forward, don't crowd the freaking counter, and yet I did both of those things. And she leaned away and she crossed her arms, just like you said. I'm like, well, yeah. So now he was learning. So he was seeing the results of when he did it this way. So I started to say, why don't we call it a day? He goes, no, no, he goes, that's, that's okay. And so we went over a little bit more and say, hey, well, why don't we go to Whole Foods and grab a bite to eat? He's like, okay. So again, he gets in line. He was in front of me. And sure enough, he leaned forward, <laughs> he leaned forward again. And I'm thinking at this point, he's, because the girl kind of had a, a very like fast reaction, crossed her arms. I'm like, oh, shit. And he grabbed his food and he literally ran outside. I'm like, oh, shit, this is kind of going to damage him and set him back a little bit okay so i got my food and i went out and say hey it's okay man don't worry we can work on this you know let's you know take 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 the rest of the day off and he goes no no he and he's grinning from ear to ear which kind of blew my mind i'm like well, what's going on he goes i get it when I leaned forward, it turns them off. It's so obvious now. He goes, I never noticed this before. Even when you said this to me, he goes, I believed you. But until I saw it two times in a row, I never would have really believed what you were saying. So he's all excited. He goes, let's do it again. Let's go somewhere else. So we went somewhere else. And this time he didn't crowd the counter. He left about six inches space and he took a half a step back and then he just pulled his head and upper shoulders back about an inch or two. And after a few moments, the girl's face relaxed. She took a deep breath and she leaned forward and she goes, what's your name? So here's the, the, the message of this. Do not feel bad if you make this mistake, even if you make it a couple times. What I would rather have you do is notice how a woman's body will turn, pull away, cross her arms, block. These are all what I call walls. Even turning the head away, turning the body away, her face tightening up, her eyes bolting. These are all like, uh, you know, I, I can call them red flags, but I, I would rather call them, it's like she's putting up barriers and she's trying to protect herself emotionally. And that's one, one of the things that this kid saw. He's like, she literally got scared when I leaned forward. Now here's the deal. The guy was only about five foot seven. He's not big. He's a kind of a slender, you know, smaller type of guy. He's like, so a woman's even going to be afraid of someone my size. I'm like, well, yeah. So that's it for this video. What I highly recommend, guys, is either get the ultimate package. You're going to save a ton of money right now. It's only $75 for all my books. Get the girl, keep the girl, crack the female code, sex signals, and you're going to get the mini package for the internal language. And there's something else. Yeah, I'll give you a one-hour conversation. You can a a ask questions about the book, the course, whatever if you want clarity on something uh, that's me with buddhist monks right right there and that's pretty much it at the very least the next step is get the book cracked female code that's the first book you should read okay hey this is mike colleen at crackedfemalecode.com remember click subscribe click the like button make a comment and if you want to support this channel uh, buy one of my books like cracked female code it really helps guys all right i'll see you guys in the next video peace